Hey guys, Ben McInerney here from GoTree Quotes. Um, hey guys, Ben Mac. <clears throat> hey guys, Ben McInerney here again from GoTree Quotes. Uh, after I put out the last video, uh, which was part three of Google AdWords on a shoestring budget, uh, there was a few key points in there uh, that I've got a few questions. Well, I. Hey guys, Ben McInerney here from GoTree Quotes. Uh, back again with another quick video. Uh, the last video I put out was part three of Google AdWords on a sho shoestring budget. Now within that, there was a, a couple of key points that I've been getting quite a few questions on. So I've decided to make a couple of short videos on uh, some of those key points. Now one of them was hiring freelancers at basically pennies on the dollar to what you would uh, in Australia or the US uh, to get uh, web work done, SEO, or even get your uh, AdWords account managed. And the reason I uh, outsource all my work is pretty obvious. It, it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Uh, in Australia for or, or the US for a web developer, uh, you're looking anywhere from $40 an hour to up to $100 an hour. If you go through Upwork or Freelancer, you can get the same job done for $5 an hour, uh, $8 an hour, $10 an hour. You can pay up to $30 or $50 an hour. It's up to you. Uh, in my opinion, the uh, quality does not warrant paying that, that much more for the same work. So uh, what I'm going to do in this video is just show you uh, the platform itself and a couple of key points when hiring people uh, that will that will save you a bit of money as well. So there are two main ones as mentioned, Upwork and Freelancer. I much prefer Upwork. Uh, I've got an account with both. I've hired people on both, but I just found Upwork's user interface a lot easier uh, and more user friendly. And I found a lot more freelancers on Upwork. So let's uh, dive straight in. So once you sign up and log in, uh, this is what the user interface looks like. It's pretty easy. Uh, first thing, it'll show any jobs that you uh, might have posted in, la in the last 15 days. Uh, you can see I've got one here to create an interactive PDF. So basically what you're going to do, you can search for freelancers uh, here by typing in you know, Google AdWords, that type thing, uh, web designer, but you're best actually posting a job. Now when you post a job, it goes out to all the freelancers out there to see and they can reply with a proposal. Uh, now, so let's, let's create one from scratch. Uh, let's say it's going to be web development because you want to get a, a website built. And you'd say build a, a basic website in WordPress. Okay, uh, front end web application, I'll say full stack. So you want to create a new job posting. Okay, so you've got your title. Uh, now you just need to fill in exactly what you want. You can say, hi, I'm, a, uh, I'm an arborist. I want to create a website. I've got no design. What can you do for me? Or whatever the job is. Uh, then you go down here, you'll fill out a few of these things, one-time project, you know, develop a website from scratch or whatever you're having done. Um, again, you can use this for SEO work, pay-per-click advertising, whatever you can come up with. As long as it's online, it can be done online. Uh, for example, my uh, all my books and invoicing is done by Mary, who is actually based in the Philippines. So I run what's called a virtual office, and we're both online at the same time. So uh, we can troubleshoot things in real time. She can be doing things uh, and I can be here doing things and it only costs $5 an hour. So you can go and pay, you know, 20 or $30 an hour, but uh, running a small business, I'd prefer to put my money towards marketing, uh, paying off your truck and chipper or whatever, or, or just saving it in the bank. So you can say you have designs uh, or you have no idea. Have you hired for this type of work before? Yes or no. Now the critical part is this, you've got pay per hour or pay a fixed price. Now there's basically one way to view this. If you're paying a fixed price, the freelancer takes on all the risk. So if you specify a price to design your, uh, so if you're going to, for example, 
do uh, build a let's say a basic five or six page website I would probably put a price up of $150 um, or maybe $200 you'll get bids above and below that when you use a fixed price um, there's no chance of them uh, working slow and you know going over time so uh, with something like this you might have a design once it's finished it's finished um, they can finish it as quickly or as slowly as they like but there's only one price so if it turns into more work than they anticipated they're taking on the risk because it's a fixed price uh, if you were to pay by the hour uh, you're taking on the risk because uh, you know they can dilly dally and it'll end up costing you more money even though they might specify oh it'll only take 10 hours could take 15 which is uh, you know a 50% jump in price now that being said uh, things like SEO uh, and pay-per-click advertising you'll find that uh, you are best do it well you, you really have to do it by the hour um, but you can specify uh, how many hours per week they can work so if you've got an SEO campaign uh, you might say look I don't want you doing more than seven hours per week you're paying them eight dollars an hour so you you know exactly how much you're going to be paying uh, for the month uh, another tip when hiring uh, someone to build a website uh, in my personal experience I would steer clear of anyone from India uh, I just found the quality of work for web development coming out of there uh, is quite low um, I, w I personally go for Eastern European countries uh, they have a lot of skilled workers there and a much higher quality of work so I'm talking about you know Bulgaria Ukraine uh, Romania uh, places like that you get to awesome web designers uh, for an awesome price uh, now pay-per-click uh, advertising so Google AdWords and SEO uh, I found the Indians to be quite good uh, there is a bit of a minefield out there uh, so you need to make sure that um, uh, you're you know screening them and and picking the right person for the job I'll show you how to do that now uh, so that's uh, basically it for this uh, you, there's just a few more options you've got to pick and then you down here you post a job uh, now let's let's just I'll show you a job that's been posted so I'm not going to create another job here let's look at this uh, interactive PDF so once it's posted um, you'll get proposals starting to flow in generally in the first 24 hours you'll get the most proposals uh, and a few more will trickle in later uh, the amount of proposals you get depends on the amount you're paying for this uh, interactive PDF I'm paying $15 uh, so that's what these guys are bidding um, so here you have people who have sent a proposal you can see the country they're based in so Philippines Ukraine Pakistan you can also see the previous job success so 95% 100% uh, job success always look at the hourly rate how much they've earned and job success so if they've only earned hundred dollars and they've got hundred percent job success well they've probably done one job maybe two jobs and um, they've got a couple of positive reviews which is great but if you've got someone with ten they've earned ten thousand dollars at thirty dollars an hour and they've got a hundred percent success rate you pretty much guaranteed they're gonna do a great job so you can actually go in there uh, have a look that they, w they would have written a cover letter maybe given examples of work that they've done in the past plus you can go down and have a look at what other people have said about them so this guy's got a lot of five stars you can see previous jobs they've done uh, how much they've been paid for that job how much they were paid per hour so this guy's bidding thirty dollars per hour for my job but he was willing to do twenty dollars per hour for that one so you can negotiate with these guys um, yeah but look that's pretty much it one thing to be wary of you have individuals here uh, that are going for jobs and you also have uh, agencies so you can see this one here hire agency hire freelancer so just be aware that sometimes you might be hiring an agency uh, generally they're pretty easy to pick that one's not so easy they've only earned thirty dollars uh, but usually you know you'll, you'll see you know five dollars an hour and over one million dollars earned clearly an agency because they've got you know you know, 100 guys working for them at five dollars an hour so they can get to a million quite quickly um, there's no real examples of that here but once you start doing web development and, and things like that you'll see you'll see agencies pop up everywhere so 
Uh, I personally go for freelancers. I find I get a better quality job done. They're more responsive. Um, another thing to do as well is that there is a very good messaging service here uh, that you can get a desktop version of to chat in live time with them. Uh, I prefer once I hire someone uh, to go over to Skype and chat with them via Skype uh, and send anything that is needed. So that's the way I do things. Um, look, I hope this is useful for you guys. Uh, you know, at being small business owners, you need to save every dollar you can. And if you can build a great website for pennies on the dollar, it's just going to help you uh, attract more customers. So uh, I hope this helps.